Alrighty guys, um, I'm going to be making a tutorial today on how to edit your championship in Ender 2003. Um, I've been getting a couple of questions on how I did this um, from my current BNM Offline Cup series. Um, so I'm just getting around the time to do it now. So um, I'm just doing the classic camera in front of the computer thing for now. Um, once we get into the actual uh, the actual game part, I'll switch over to Fraps for this. But for now, I'm just doing the camera in front of the computer because I don't have a program and I don't know a program that I could record by screen. And um, Fraps doesn't let me record my desktop for whatever reason. So hopefully, I can do this in between coughing because of that. I've been uh, I've been sick for the past couple of weeks. <coughs> so the uh, first thing you want to do is you want to open up your 2003 folder and we all know how to do that and then you're going to want to go into your series folder now just to show you what the default one looks like I'm going to go into the cup series the cup in game cup mod folder and right underneath of the cars folder you're going to see a couple of different configuration settings documents you're going to want to go into the one that says all now, we go in here, you're going to see a whole bunch of different events set up, and a whole bunch of different random stuff that doesn't, you know, doesn't follow a NASCAR season or anything. And this is the stuff that you edit. Now, uh, you can see in an event, you have your day in the month, the name of the event, the number of laps for the event. And then the most important part is the track directory. The track directory has to be the exact name of the track in your tracks folder in order for it to work. If it's not the exact name, it's not going to come up when you go into the game. So make sure that that is the exact name of the track in the tracks folder. And then something about a starting grid, I don't really know what that is but I I don't touch it so um, I wouldn't recommend doing that so that's kinda what a default one looks like now I'm gonna go into my BR cup mod that's the one that I have edited for the offline series I'm gonna go into all and this is what the offline series is one looks like so you can see how it's set up with the track directories and the laps and stuff. Um, obviously you can do it however you want, um, depending on how you're going to have your thing, your season set up. But this is just an example of how a finished one looks like. And now I'm going to switch to Fraps and go into the game and show you how to use it inside the game alrighty so now we're in the game and to get your custom championship to work you're first going to want to go down into championship and open it up now since I already have mine all set up um, mine's already you know set up and stuff so when you're first starting out you're going to want to go up to the top here and click on new now and then it's going to ask you to name your new season we'll just call this one example season and then you hit enter and it opens up a brand new season now this is set up for my offline series so down in the options all that you have to do is to go to your schedule here and select all tracks instead of what this mod is set up for the 2009 Nextel Cup series. Now it, it's obviously going to be different depending on what mod you use, but anytime you're creating your own season, um, you want to go down to the all tracks and make sure that that is set up. Now this is all the rest of the stuff is obviously obviously just personal settings that you want to do for yourself. Um, and how you want to run your own season and that's the main thing 
is just to get the schedule done. So we'll hide the options and we'll go to my offline series and you see in the standings now it, this is set up for the next event so you obviously don't have the results but if you go back a race you have the results and it brings up this window with the results of the previous race all of the information from the race up at the top and you can export the results from the race and no matter what race that you're you're on I normally just go to the next one it shows the standings as of the the um, as of the current point that you're at in your season we're obviously four races four races in so this is where it's set up for now and it shows all the standings for uh, the season now this is obviously the 2003 point system so um, I don't know how to edit the the way the points score so um, I'm fine using this point system so that's how it goes off of <coughs> so I hope this helped you guys uh, create your custom seasons um, for whatever either you know just personal fun use or for offline series like my own um, and on that note that's pretty much it so hopefully this uh, this helped you guys out and We'll see you guys later.